G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is some more nursing calculations. Uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at paediatric calculations. These are calculations for medications involving children. Uh, we're not going to be in this video looking at uh, paediatric calculations involving uh, just based upon weight or maybe stock strength and stock required or drip rates because I've looked at these in previous videos and they're much the same uh, as a few little tweaks but we, we address those in those videos. What we are going to be having a look at in this video is medications for paediatrics based upon this thing called body surface area. Okay, uh, Body surface area is like it sounds, it's the um, surface area of the kid's body. Obviously the bigger the kid it has a bigger surface area on the outside, the smaller kid has a smaller surface area. And you can get medications based upon this. This is uh, meters squared uh, measurement. And the way we can work this out is through this following formula. Uh, you can also use a graph to work this out, but you can use this formula where what you do is you get the height of the child, which is in uh, centimetres, and you multiply this by the weight of the child, which is in kilograms. Okay? Then what we do is we get this number, and we divide it by 3,600. Okay? We get our answer from this, and we square root it, okay? And this will give us the body surface area. Now with our body surface area we can do a few things, this now can lead to a few things. We might be able to work out a medication based purely upon body surface area. For example, the medication might be something say like uh, this many milligram per meter squared. And this is a fairly simple thing to deal with because we can just multiply these out. Or what we might have is we might have a type of medication based upon an adult dose, okay? I might say uh, an adult dose is this big. Um, work out the, the medication for you know based on the kid's body surface area. And the way we do this is this. The child we get the, the child dose, okay, the child dose is equal to the body surface area of the kid. So you work out the body surface area. And what you do is you divide this by this magical number of 1.73. I don't know how magical it is. I'm, I'm sort of guessing this 1.73 might be the, 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 the boundary what they're seeing between kid and adult. I'm, I'm not sure with that, but that, that would make sense to me with this. And what you do is you multiply this by the adult dose. Okay, by the adult dose. Okay, so we're going to be using these formulas in varying amounts. I'm going to give you a bunch of questions in a minute. Somewhere we have to work this out, somewhere this will already be given, the BSA will already be given, where you might have to work it out based on the adult dose, uh, or say something like this. So anyway, really important that you remember these uh, these formulas, okay? So we have this one here, to work out the body surface area, and I think the other major one is this one here, okay? Alright, let's have a look at a few examples of this. So say we have this sort of question. A child has a height of 93 centimetres and a weight of 14.6 kilograms and is prescribed 120 milligrams per metre squared of medication. What dose should the child be given? So, what are we going to do first to work this out, you might be thinking? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to use this height and weight to work out this child's body surface area. Okay, this will be given in metres squared and then we'll be able to work those metres squared to work out how much medication the kid needs. Okay, so the body surface area of the kid is as follows. This is in, again, in metres squared is as follows. We get the height of the child, which is 93. This is in centimetres. We multiply this by the weight, which is in kilograms, 14.6. Okay. We're going to put this over 3,600. And then what we're going to do is we're going to square root that whole lot. So what does this equal? Well, 93 times 14.6 is 1,358. We're then going to get that number divided by 3,600 and square root. Okay, I'm doing this in little steps at the moment. Okay, so we work out what 1,358 divided by 3,600, 3,600 is, what this equals is 0 0.377. So this is going to be the number we're going to square root. And if we square root that number, what we get is this answer, a 0 0.61 metres 
squared. You can check all that on calculators. Obviously, I've already jotted these down, um, you know, so I don't have to mess around with plugging in numbers into a calculator or anything like that, okay? So check these out on a calculator as you go along. You might also want to actually practice them and, and, and see how you go with these. So what we do with this, this particular number here, this body surface area, which we have here, is we're going to see that we have 120 milligrams per metre squared. So the medication, or the dosage, is equal to well, it's this uh, 120 milligrams, 120 milligrams times 0 0.61. Okay, because for every meter squared, we're going to get 120 milligrams. We haven't actually got quite a meter square, we've got actually 0.6 of a meter, almost six tenths of a meter. So it's going to be a number uh, less than this. So, what answer do we get for this? We get the answer of 73. 0.7 milligrams. Okay. Hope you went well on that. Now I'll give you another example. There's going to be four examples all together. Um, just move that a little bit. Okay, a child has a body surface area of 0 0.36 meters squared and is ordered a medication for which the average adult dose is 60 milligrams. What dosage should the child get? Now, what you're going to realize for this is we've already been given the body surface area, so we're going to actually have to use this average adult dose. We're going to be using that, uh, that second, uh, this, if you remember, this formula here because we've got the child dose. We're going to be working out. We've got the body surface area. We're trying to, and we've also got the adult dose. We're going to be trying to work out the child dose based on that. So we're going to use this formula here. So this child dose, child dose, is going to be equal to the body surface area, which is 0 0.36 meters squared over this number of 1.73 times the adult dose, the average adult dose, which is 60 milligrams. So what does this equal? 0 0.36 divided by 1.73, the answer to that is 0 0.21. Okay, we're going to times this by 60 milligrams. So we've got about a fifth, this is almost a fifth of our 60 milligrams which is 12.49 milligrams is the child's dosage. How'd you go with that? Okay, let's have a look at another one of these. So we've got this third problem. A child has a height of 104 centimetres and a weight of 15.8 kilograms. He is prescribed a medication to be based on an adult dose of 30 milligrams. What dosage should the child get? So, the way we're going to work this out is as follows. First, we're going to have to work out the kid's body surface area. Then we're going to have to, so we're going to use this and this to work out the kid's body surface area. Then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to use that medication, that, that, that adult um, dose formula, this one here, to get the child dosage. Okay, remember that one we just used then? So first off, let's work out the body surface area. Now, the body surface area is equal to the height times the weight divided by 3,600, we square root that. So the height is 104 times the weight, which is 15.8. We're going to put that over 3,600. We're then going to square root that entire amount. So what we get with this is, uh, if we work all that out, 104 times 15.8, the answer to that is 1,643.2. This is going to go over 3,600. We're then going to square root that whole number. Okay, so if we do all this, what we get is uh, we get the answer of 0 0.46, okay, 1,300. And 43.2 divided by 3,600 is 0 0.46. We're going to square root that. So we're going to get a body surface area once we square root that of 0 0.68 meters squared.
Okay, so the first thing we've done is now we've got this body surface area. Okay, well now we're going to use this body surface area to work out the child dose based upon the adult dose. Okay, the formula for that, if you remember, what we do is the child dose was equal to this body surface area, this 0 0.68 meters squared. We put this over 1.73. And then what we do is we multiply this by the adult dose. The adult dose is 30 milligrams. So what do we get when we get this? This we get as follows. Uh, 0.68 divided by 1.73. The answer to this is 0 0.39. We're going to times this by 30 milligrams. Then we get our answer of 11.79 milligrams. Okay, so again, really, really important that you get this formula worked out here and this formula worked out here. Okay, now let's have a look at one last question with these. So, I don't know what's happened there. What's the required dose for a child with a body surface area of 0 0.64 meters squared if the child is prescribed 40 milligrams per meter of medication? So let's work this out. Um, the required dose for so we've already been given the child's body surface area. So this is a nice, easy calculation. This is probably one of the easy calculations. Okay, so we get this 0 0.64 meter squared and this child is getting 40 milligrams for every meter they don't have a meter they have 0 0.64 meters so we're going to multiply these okay 40 milligrams when we do this we get the answer as 25.6 milligrams okay how'd you go with those now there is a stack of these types of calculations, again just look up paediatric calculations in Google and you'll find lots and lots of examples of these, uh, but hopefully that's it's been a bit of a help. I'm going to make uh, one more video for nursing calculations and this is just going to be looking at uh, where we're going to be looking at uh, where medications are given multiple times over a day and how to deal with these. They're not that hard, they're, they're quite simple to use. Okay, so anyway, hope to see you then. Thanks for watching, see you next time.